Hello everyone, and welcome back to What the F Friday, the day where I try to redeem myself after making fun of cats and pissing off everyone. I figured I'd play a game with cats. This was sitting in my what the fuck list, which by the way is a million miles long. A catastrophic date. <laughs> For those of you wondering, Jazz Punk was so liked in the last uh, What the Fuck Friday that it has gone to its own LP. That will be a thing, but for now, we are playing a catastrophic date. Why do I feel like this is either going to horrify me or be the greatest thing I've ever done? Press the up arrow to play. I shall do it. You are a cat. A genius cat, actually. Your owner has had no success with men at all for most of her life, with almost all of her dates being terrible in general. Last night, yet another potential date left her a message while she was out saying he couldn't make it to dinner tonight. You are fed up with all the flakes, you've had enough. So, you being the genius cat that you are, deleted the voicemail, and then you devised a plan. You set up everything to give her the perfect date. Instead of one with these flakes, you'd be taking the place of the guy who just canceled his date with your owner instead. Your job is to make her feel happy for one date in hopes that she might feel better about herself and realize that she's a good owner and I guess a good human being too after all, press enter to start. Does that woman have a, a hook for a hand? <laughs> Old hook hands Mary McGee. And no wonder she couldn't get a date. I, I mean, come on, wouldn't you be a little put off by someone with a hook hand? I mean, I don't mean to be rude. It, it's just a little, I don't know, maybe it would be cool, like dating a pirate. Look at the cat in the suit. He's so businesslike. Let's, hello, oh my gosh, he's got a cute little stash. Hey, this is the narrator here. Good job making it to the restaurant first, but don't forget your goal. You're here to make this a fun time for your owner so she can get some self-esteem and find some good guys. Also, press enter to advance the text. I will. Finally, you had the foresight to make an answering device to respond to your owner. When she has a statement or question that needs answering, you can press the up or down key to respond how you see fit. Now here she comes, good luck. Oh God, I'm gonna mess this up horribly. Uh, oh, because I'm a cat with a, with a hat. Hey, sorry I'm late. I couldn't find my contacts or glasses, so I had to run here instead of driving, and I feel so bad about making you wait. You're still up for eating together though, right, I hope? Ma'am, you're not starting out very well. Wait a minute, how the fuck do you put in contacts with a hook hand? Is that how you went blind in the first place? Well, these are questions that need to be answered, I feel. Um, and you, you ran here. Well, she's probably all sweaty and everything too. Uh, this is very telling, actually. Uh, yeah, I guess we could eat here. I mean, that's fine. Great, so what are you gonna order to eat tonight? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Press the up key to answer yes? Wait, what? Press the down key to answer no. Um, okay, I don't know. Uh, uh, uh yes, I want to eat tonight. <laughs> You're up for anything? Well, then I have to confess, I have a huge sweet tooth, so I'd like to start with dessert first, like some chocolate cake maybe? All right, well, I mean, aren't we supposed to do what she wants, like to make her happy, right? So, uh, okay, we can do that, lady. Uh. You do have rather large, uh, you know, uh, tracks of, of... Your eyes are beautiful. For someone with a hook hand. I can't wait! So I have to ask, what do you do for work? Do you work at an office job, maybe? Um, yes. I kick around uh, dirt all day. It's very, very serious work, actually. I also poop in a box. Um, and I scratch things. It's crazy, crazy professional. Um, do I, do I work in business? Yes. Oh, so where do you work? Um... Right as she finishes talking, you feel the mild shock on your hands. The answering device is broken. Looks like you didn't build it as good as you thought, huh? Now while she can't see you that well because she doesn't have her glasses or contacts, you're still going to have to communicate somehow, but all you know how to do is look surprised, give a pouty sad face, or just outright not respond. Oh, God, what is this? Why am I doing this? Press the up key to look surprised, press the right key to look sad. Uh, press the down key to do that. We're so sad because we have to work. Oh, is your work really stressful? I'm sorry for bringing up negative topics while we're trying to have fun. We can talk about something else if you like. Yes. Look at how sad he is, madam. You've made him sad. I'm a cat. I have time to be sad. Oh, look, the chocolate cake is here already. That was pretty fast. Let's dig in. Oh, no. Wait, what? You agreed to eat a chocolate cake? What were you thinking? Cats can't eat chocolate? You suffered severe indigestion and had to be taken to the vet, ruining your entire plan to cheer your owner up and costing her $2,000 in veterinarian fees. Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. God damn it. 
Are you serious? We have to restart. I'm not giving up on this. Um, all right, let's... <laughs> oh, God. Come on, hook hands, Mary. We're trying this again. Oh, God. All right. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna eat here. Uh, what are you gonna order to eat tonight? I'm going to order yes. <laughs> Uh, she wants to start with cake. Let's say no. Let's not do that. Yeah, I guess that's kind of overboard for our first dish. What about an appetizer then? Like onion rings? Um... Is that bad? Is our onion rings bad? I don't know. I, I'm not a cat person, you guys. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. Yes, onion rings are fine. Great, so I have to ask, are you into any sports? Yes. I chase around yarn all day. And also... Uh, the habit of chasing red dots. It's very important. There's actually an Olympic sport for it. Oh no, the answering device is broken. Same thing. Um, I'm surprised about sports. <laughs> oh gosh, look how cute he is. His hat is like floating. He's like, Bruh! Extreme sports? Me too. Any interesting stories? Well, I you guess you gotta be into extreme sports if you have a hook hand, ma'am. You kinda gotta just dive into it. Um... Uh, I, I don't know, I look surprised again. Yeah, I'm into extreme sports. Why is that surprising? Because you're a beautiful, delicate flower that maybe doesn't have a hook hand. Oh look, the onion rings are here. Dig in, but save room for more. I still want to get that cake. Oh shit! Oh no! You agreed to eat onion rings? What were you thinking? Cats get sick from onions, you dumb shit! You suffered severe indigestion and had to be t oh god. What the fuck do cats eat then? Why does everything make them sick? You know, this is not helping the, the plea that everyone tried to make that cats really weren't a pain in the ass. Um, this is not helping, actually. Should I just say that we're not eating here? Uh, let's just keep going. Oh my goodness me, I have to remember all the answers that I did. I want to eat here. I don't want to have cake. Uh, I don't want to have onion rings. What do you want to eat then? Oh fuck, now the thing is broken. <laughs> This is just like all my first dates actually. This is kind of why I wanted to play this I wanted to feel a little bit better about my own date situation, uh, but this is not helping actually um, I will say I want to look surprised. Uh oh Wait, are you saying you're surprised that I want to eat? Are you saying I'm fat? I'm done here if you're just gonna screw with my head and insult me. Goodbye Ma'am. Oh for fuck's sake. Isn't that such a woman thing to do? What in the world were you thinking? Try actually responding decently so she doesn't misinterpret you or seeing is indecisive. You're trying to cheer her up, not confuse her, scare her off, you dumb shit. You guys, dating is hard. Dating is hard. Oh my god. Just what? Okay, we, we're, no, I'm gonna make this happen. Yes. I wanna eat here. We're not having chocolate cake. We're not having onion rings. Uh, the answering device is broken. I will look sad. That can't possibly be wrong, right? Women like sad men, they try to cheer them up. You guys, I don't know what I'm talking about, right? I, I, let's be honest, I'm not much of a woman at that. Sorry for pressuring you. I guess I really want this date to go right. I've had a lot of really bad dates lately, and it's kind of ruined my self-esteem. So I guess I'll find myself rushing things in hopes that finally one date will go right. Girl, look what you did. You made the cat sad. He's all floppy now and everything. For a long time now, I felt like there was something wrong with me. Besides obviously having a hook for a hand and my multiple other physical problems like my eyesight and so on. Whoa. <laughs> I'd get rejected by guys left and right and just blame myself. Rule number one, people. If you do have a problem like that, you don't bring attention to it. You just act normal. And then the person next to you will act normal as well. Do not bring attention to your faults. But you sat here, didn't care about my physical disabilities, didn't mind my quirks, didn't mind my lateness, and now you've patiently sat here and listened to me ramble on. I think you helped me realize that while I'm not a perfect person, of course, I'm not a terrible one either. I just had bad relationships. <laughs> Thanks for helping me realize all this, but honestly, I'd rather go home to start working on things I've neglected. It's not personal. I hope you understand. Look at the kitty face. He looks so cute. <laughs> oh, I like pixel cats. They're so adorable and they don't make me sneeze. Wait, did I? Good job. I won. During her monologue, you managed to fix the answering device so you could answer yes in response to your question. She then asked if you agree with her choice, which you also answer yes. She leaves smiling and happy as you'd intended. Not to mention, with her newfound strength and her self-esteem, she'll be able to handle any future rejections much better and with luck, she'll end up finding someone she really likes who deserves her just as much. 
or she'll become a pirate. Either one. Well, thanks for fucking putting the spin on it. It was so romantic there for a moment. Thanks for playing. If this is your first ending, you should also check out the other endings. There's a secret Easter egg ending. Did you find it? I don't know. How do I know? Wait, what is gone? Now I've got to fucking find out. Now I've got to find out how much I can ruin it. Well, we, we did the right thing. Here she comes. What happens if you say you don't want to eat here? Let's try that. Uh, yes, I don't mind waiting. Uh, what are you going to order to eat tonight? No, I don't want to eat anything. Oh, you didn't want to eat? Well, did you want to go somewhere else then for our date? Uh, yes. Yeah, this place is kind of stuffy. So where did you want to go then? Oh, right as she finishes talking, the thing breaks. Of course. Um, I want to look sad, surprised, or do nothing. Let's look sad. You can't think of anywhere to go? I've got an idea. Follow me. Oh, what the fuck? You decide to go to a local go-karting track at her suggestion and start racing around the track having fun until you realize that she still can't see well and right after the race starts, she's in an ambulance with broken bones. Still, still alive though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that one of my dates has gone like this. But maybe not. It's not a date until you're wheeled away in an ambulance, to be fair. Oh my god, this ends so abruptly. And you can't remember what you've done. Kitty, what are we gonna do? Yes. No. Yes. Uh, where did you want to go then? So now we acted sad. Let's do surprised. Uh, you want to go somewhere fun? Okay, let's go. Look at him. He's like, I want to go somewhere fun. What the fuck? This is perfect for what the fuck Friday. It just embodies everything. You decide to go to an amusement park and everything's going great until you run into the flake who left her the voicemail. Uh-oh. She then realizes something's going on and the jig is up. Talk about bizarre accidents. T talk about a sticky situation. Oh, for fucks. Really? <laughs> I don't even remember what I pressed. This is this is very bad for like my my early onset Alzheimer's, which I'm pretty sure that I have. Um Okay, oh no, we did this already. Oh bullshit. Um uh oh, well we're stuck now. Uh no, no, um broken, I will do nothing. Uh, are you gonna pick something? Uh... Oh no, oh god, it's the same. Oh shit, I'm sorry! Uh, uh, good job, I, I did the same thing I did before. I hope she becomes a pirate. Damn it, which ones haven't I done? God damn it, games like this. I love dating sim games, by the way, you guys. If you have, like, a dating sim game idea for What the Fuck Friday, I will so play the shit out of it. Um, I've already played Hatofu Boyfriend, so don't ask about that one. And I played, uh... Katwa Shoujo, but that one's way too wordy. Uh, speaking of wordy, this is just- this is getting... Uh, what if I just tell her no, I don't want to wait anymore like a dick? Wait, what? No! You're really confusing me, I'm sorry I bothered you, goodbye! What in the world were you thinking?! <laughs> is this what guys go through every time they try to go on a date? This is ridiculous! Uh, what else haven't I done? I want to get that Easter egg, damn it. Um... I don't want to eat tonight. I want to go somewhere else. Um, it's broken. Which one haven't we done? We'll do nothing? No, wait, did we already do nothing? No, wait, did we look sad? Oh, shit, we're- Oh, I, I feel like I've run out of, of options. God, one more time. <laughs> God. Now this is like, what can you remember instead of go on a date? Yes. No. Um, yes. And then, what did I do? Do nothing? Do nothing! Well, while we figure out what to do, we should head by the store first. I need to pick up something. What is it? Is it a pregnancy test? Um, is it monostat? You can tell me. I'm not a cat in a hat with a- What the fuck?! You head with her to the store and shop around a bit until you're both ready to go. You walk out the door, still unsure of what she just purchased. She asks you to give her a minute, and then when she turns around, she screams. Wait, what? Oh my god! <laughs> she's put new contacts in and she's now able to see that you're her cat! The shift in her psyche is immediate and paramedics take her home. You spend the next few weeks using various tricks to convince her it was all a dream. I wish I could convince myself that some of my first dates were all a dream. But they never are. Well, this has been a catastrophic date. I think I just went through all the options. If you've been through an option I haven't, let me know about it in the comments. Maybe I'll look at it. Uh, if you've got it recorded, uh, put it on this video. I will do a, a reply to it and all that shenanigans. And if you've got a game for me to play for What the F Friday, uh, 
let me know. Send me a YouTube message, a Twitter, uh, whatever you got. I look at them all. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go uh, browse my OkCupid profile. I'll be back later, guys. See ya. Ha 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 